Hello everyone and welcome back to another uh, episode of The Rising. Um, today I am going to attempt and hopefully succeed in taking out Keeley the Frost Archer. Um, as you can see I've taken on some of these other bosses um, and in all honesty um, out of the ones I have taken out so far Rufus the Foreman was probably the hardest one. The Alpha Wolf one, easy peasy, you just go up to it. I shot it a couple times with my bow before it closed range and then just destroyed it with the spear. Um, Errol, the Stonebreaker, um, uh, he's inside of the mine. And there's like almost like a little arena area with some uh, pillars in the middle. I just kept kiting him around that area and just kept um, using range to my advantage. Um, and I used my magic shot quite a bit. Um, the, the R attack, the shadow bolt. And it took uh, quick, it made quick work of him. Um, also, Lydia the Chaos Archer. Uh, if you guys didn't see how I conquered her in, uh, in one of my last videos, um, I used one of the golems to my advantage. Um, I shot her with an arrow and then lured her over to a tree ant, and he did most of the work for me. Um, and then while she was kind of busy fighting the tree ant, I would just come up and hit her from behind and shoot her with my bow. And then, uh, before you knew it, she was gone too. So, um, if you guys can, I recommend doing that. Lure them, if there is a boss nearby, or one of the, well, I guess these guys are the bosses. Um, if there is one of those demons by, lure whatever you're trying to kill to it and have the the golem help you out so without further ado let's track this lady because we need to get ourselves the tannery to do something with all these freaking chests full of animal hides that we got it, it, it's it's ridiculous how many animal hides we got it is actually quite stupid Let's go into wolf mode so it's faster. And we can zoom out. Hello, my peoples. Ah, idiots. The area where I built my base, there is quite a few patrol areas around. So, there's no shortage of those idiots. I think she's in here. Uh, I want to sneak around. Not in there. Hey, the big idiots. Yeah, she's in there. First, we're going to kill a bunch of these minions. I 
that one fast run. Make it a lot more difficult in a moment. Tainted hearts, turn that into essence jelly. Where's that fart? Trespass us. No mercy. Yes! Give me your face! <laughs> Guys, the powers are ours! Mm. Nothing you can do now! Quickly top off our health. It's the freaking middle of the day, so we gotta deal with that. Ooh, is that a tainted heart I see over there? Might have to snag that on my way out. Hey, a fart. Easy peasy lemon squeezy boy. Ain't nothing on me, boy. Mmm, pokey pokey that. Okay. Wolf we'll form. What the? Those are skilly mans. Huh? What idiots? <laughs> what did they think they were gonna do? They don't got no guts! <laughs> Hey, Archer boy, you idiot. Give me your essence. 
In some ways, saying that reminds me of uh, the movie Dark Crystal. Do y'all remember that movie? Or have you guys even ever seen it? How they like take the little munchkin people and like stick them in that machine and stuck at their life essence to keep them young. It's kind of messed up when you think about it. What the? Don't mind a little third partying. Don't mind me. I'm just on my way back to my base to build the tannery, which I've been waiting for. Too slow to walk. Turn into wolf form. Why use two legs when you can use four? Hello, friends. Uh, I wasn't even going to my base. What the freak is I doing? Hey, bear. Ooh, double bear. I'll have to come back for you guys. Mmm, deer, too. So many luscious, tasty tidbits. Holy crap, I, for some reason it clicked on the heart, castle heart. Oh, that would hurt. Yeah, that was actually an, uh, the easiest way, I feel, to kill Kiwi the Frost Archer. I have tried several times and I got destroyed trying to do it out in the open. When you can find her in that tent, there's not all these other people attacking you from other places. Because as you saw, there is like so many other like level 20 things there and just random people. It, it gets so annoying trying to fight all that. And so if you kite her into one of the tents, I feel like that's the way to go. There might be one, like you saw in the one I went to, there was two people in there. But I'd rather deal with two low level people than three or four level 20s and a bunch of minions. Okay, we came back to... We we're gonna do something. Oh yeah. Uh, tannery. Where did we wanna put the tannery? My base is getting a little, a little claustrophobic, if you know what I mean. Production. Refinement. Grinder. Tannery. There it is. Eight planks. Eight planks. Eight planks. What do you take me for? I'm, I'm a rich boy when it comes to planks. Look at all this. Ooh. Yes. Let's just snag 92. Cause why not? Come back over here and we'll pop that tannery in. I can build five of them. Let's put it there because. I mean, that's, after all, where we have our chests of uh, giddy good goods. We already got leather. Let's pop those goods in there. What? Reinforced bone axe. Those are for weenies. We got copper, boy. What do you take us for? You won't catch me with that low-level garbage anymore. In fact, I despise it. I'm gonna feed it to this. Cause that's who I am. 
We got stones. We got bones. There. Look at all these freaking animal hides. Look at this. I might just make more of these freaking tanneries so I can make use of all the freaking animal hides I have. It's stupid how many animal hides I have. Let's go over here and turn our hearts into jelly. We have so we have blood essence coming out of our freaking butt. It is ridiculous. How many? And I got a bunch more of these tainted hearts over in the vermin nest area. Um I secluded the vermin nest area off so I don't have these disgusting creatures running around my entire base. Um, and this, it only will produce a certain number of rats in, in your space and then it will automatically shut off. So see how I collect them and it starts, um, starts producing more. And then I just stash the old rats. Take the full stack, pop them in there, move that rat over. Bada bing, bada boom. So, see, we even got more. There's the hearts I was talking about. And even more blood essence. Holy crap. We'll keep four on hand, why not? F. Compulsive the cow. Again, if you don't know what compulsively count uh, does, um, anything that's in the chest or container you're looking in, this includes the workstations or whatnot and sawmills. Uh, if you click compulsively count, it'll take whatever's in that container out of your inventory. It is very convenient. But if you have spare tools in um, one of the chests, it can kind of get a little annoying because it'll automatically pull your tools into the chest so just be wary of that um, whatever we'll just put these other random stuff in here because I don't want to carry them ooh pine cone whatever nobody cares uh, we'll keep a hold of the ore and the planks and we will toss those in over here. Okay, wait. Ninety one, baby. I need to go on a run for a uh, copper. Actually, it's not too crazy of a deal. I uh I don't really make any copper things from scratch anymore, seeing as you can just repair it all and it's way cheaper and easier to repair your stuff than deal with everything else. Let's quickly check out the blood altar again and see what we got from her. What is frost that? We gotta use it guys, right? That just seems OP, does it not? Launch a projectile that explodes upon impact, dealing 100% magic damage and inflicts chill on surrounding enemies. Hitting a chilling enemy freezes it for four seconds. You could literally shoot it, get my spear or maybe my sword, do the Q combo move and just annihilate their health. Traveler's wrath? What? Sun resistance? An empty useful as liquid container. Use it near a liquid source such as a river, lake, or well to fill it. Yo, my dude. He don't drink water, he drinks blood, sucker. Yeah, let's... Let's forget that power and do the... Where is it? Does that not... We gotta test this out, guys. Come 
Yeah, you chicken nugget. What? Is that deer just immune? I think that deer just doesn't want to die today. So how do I do this? C. Let's do it on this bear. Oh, maybe we can get a combo shot. So C. What? I like that. Got nothing on me, bear. Dang, guys. I think we're gonna be freezing some of the next upcoming bosses. They won't know I hit them. They'll be like, oh. Someone left a window open because it's getting chilly. Hey Moose, I see you. Hey Mr. Deer. <laughs> yeah. Thought you could get away, but you didn't. Found your brother. Don't worry, you're next. Come here, boy! Uh. Spear! It's just too good! It's, it's just too freaking good! Oh, hey, uh, we got a bunch more hides for our cannery. Um, okay, that part is kind of accurate when you're uh, tanning hides. If, if y'all know the process of tanning a hide, you scrape off the flesh or whatnot so it doesn't rot and whatnot, but whatever this blue liquid goopy bubbling witch's brew is, I don't know what it's supposed to be doing. Because... You don't necessarily have to do that. Unless, are they are they boiling the hides? Maybe? Is that just supposed to be water? Maybe they're boiling the hides? And then we'll lather on some goop? I mean... Not, uh, usually people would use, like, animal brains and kind of rub it on the hide to help preserve it. Um, but the more modern way that people use, because it's not as uh, gruesome and disgusting, is just eggs. Uh, mix up some eggs and you know, put it on there and then... Um, and s salt. There's a there's different ways to do it. Each people has their preferred method, but... <gasps> Let's turn this on before we bake. Yeah, that's an added little bonus less life lesson for you about tanning hides. Stone brick. What do I do with the stone brick? I don't even remember. Huh. Oh, I was gonna grab leather and do stuff with it. Take my leather. I can, I think if I come over here now, upgraded armor, 
coarse thread, coarse thread, coarse thread. So I need coarse thread. Hmm. Four cloths. Okay. So we are on the search. Let's zoom in a little bit. That's better. Coarse. There's some coarse thread. And fabric. We got two fabric right there. I think we said we needed four. Oh, we got a bunch more coarse thread. We in business, guys. Now we just need. Oh, the rest of our fabric. Too tasty. That should do it, right? Was... I think I hear an archer outside of my base. Or one of the hunters, or whatever. Oh, oh no, that was the tree ant. Is what it was. Oh no, I think that was an arrow. Yeah, that's an arrow. We'll kill him in a sec, or pick up his loot. He's gonna die either way, whether it be from us or someone else. Let's do that. That. I need more leather! That's 15% sun resistance. Thank goodness for that. When do we get hats? Or helmets, or whatever they're gonna be. I wanna put it on my head! Oh! Hmm! Well, I guess, uh, we'll just take our old clothing and, uh, you know, turn it into munchable crunchies for our little devour Jabba tongue chest food. Hello, demonic friend. While those are finishing, let's go feed these things to our chest. Mmm, I got some nummy nummy nuggets for ya. Nummy nummies. Yeah. The grinder. Close to the camp. Oh, put the planks in there. Okay. So we got that. We got the gloves. Now we need the little booties. And we needed more leather, so hopefully... We got more... Oh yeah, we got plenty. Some more bad boys in there. Upgraded armor. So nice. Oh. Well, I forgot about that. We got an extra copper spear in there. It'll literally stay there for probably forever. Unless I invite one of my friends to if, uh, play on this server with me. Any of my friends ever played this game, but yeah. A 
It mostly just looks like it turned it into leather. I mean, not leather, the animal heads. Let's put our extra... Oh, man. All these other extra tools I've got from fighting different things. We'll just recycle those too. Still hungry? Have some dessert. Pop those things in our cannery. Ah, wh one will actually do. I was gonna. I said I was gonna possibly make more. Uh, but when I'm the only one in this world right now, there's no point. I'm not going to go through leather that much. Um, I've ran into this person before. They're freaking psychopaths. She's in an area with a bunch of like, she's in like a graveyard. Um, Gore Swine the Ravage. A mad cultist gun. I can't concentrate. Hey, you big jerk. That's my deer. We gotta permit to hunt on my land. Huh. I do though. Hey, you big jerk. Where's your hunting license? Sup, tree, don't mind me. You big idiot. What an idiot. You suck. Eh. You stupid. I'm over here. Hey. Hey. Ugly. Don't mind me. Just gonna weasel in here and look at that little tasty tidbit. Let's go see if our bear friends are still around. Hello, Mr. Bear. Hello, wolfies. Huh. Usually we got a bear friend over here, but it doesn't look like it right now. What else were the items that we could make from her? From that one chicky? Is it the frost archer we just did? Canteen, garbage. So. What do I need that for? I don't understand. You get all these canteens or whatnot. And then you're supposed to use them for stuff. And the only thing 
I've noticed that you can use the can the water bottle things for so far is for making clay molds or whatever. I haven't seen anything else. Um, I might have to do a little research and figure out what's going on. Let's go check on our rat buddies. Hello, you disgusting freaks. I don't want you to be left behind. Rats are so gross. So gross. Ugh. Anyways, um, I think I'll end this one here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you guys might have learned a thing or two. Um, again, uh, that frost archer lady, kite her into a tent. Easiest way. Um, repair your equipment versus waiting for it to get destroyed and then having to remake it. Um, and if you didn't see how to do that, uh, check out the clip on my channel um, on how to repair. Um, until next one. Bye.